articles and the food which were eaten the last evening yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so such very slow digestion very mm-hmm. sluggish mm-hmm. so he from time to time when or he get belchings so he gets some some liquid or some solid particles which he has eaten many hours before will come in mm. into the mouth mm. <coughs> that's what you find with this person so he has many sorts of disturbances in digestive system and sulfur person chronic <coughs> and also he has many regarding the sex also in sulfur he has many types of weaknesses so he has his his sexual capacity decreases but mentally he feels to have more that is what you find in nakshwami ka also in sulfur also mm-hmm. so physically is not capable hmm. but mentally he has always this, ten- this tendency to have it hmm. so this is an obsession <coughs> so sometimes he feels excessive sexual desire but uh, he cannot so these are the persons <coughs> who the chronic conditions nakshwamka and sulfur they get into impotency very quickly mm-hmm. the more they get into impotency the mind is more yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. towards the sex mm-hmm. and what do you find with these persons so they suffer from this very much <coughs> and another feature is also in, in sulfur is sweat because sweat is there common many remedies but sulfur the sweat is giving foul smell mm-hmm. you can feel the smell even from the distance the sweat It's very not- easy he has a tendency for easy sweating because suppose there is no fresh air immediately he gets sweat sweating oh. and the sweat smells and especially the sweat is more in his genital organs mm-hmm. than other parts of the body mm-hmm. in sulfur mm-hmm. if it is in calcarea carb the sweating is from the head mm-hmm. so different uh, you know, see there are many remedies with sweating mm-hmm. excess sweating but in calcarea carb it is from the head a typical person of calcarea carb will get much transpiration in the head and it flows down like a river mm-hmm. such uh, in calcarea carb mm-hmm. the sweat flows down mm-hmm. like waterfall or like a river mm-hmm. any time or especially at some time generally any time especially when there is no air and when mm-hmm. there is little heat increasing also during sleep during sleep also during mm-hmm. sleep in the morning they say that all the pillow was drenched pillow in sweat the can get a car mm carbo because the head is sweating and this pillow is wet you know the people who have a heart condition they will be sweating in the night also yeah because is it, is it that is in cal- in in, in carbo is double but also we yeah. see have the sweatings of the lungs then also you have sweating mm-hmm. Sweat yeah. in the lungs. The night. The night. Have. But the the heart condition. The heart condition is, is a sweat. China. Yeah. There are sweats in China mm. person. China mm. in the night. Oh, in the night also they can have cold sweats. And cold sweating. Or carbovage. Carbovage. Oh yeah, because I know someone they, they said he is sweating in the night. He has the the bed is a very and then after he was heart. operated mm. yeah, because it it can lead into any disturbance afterwards but these are the <coughs> tendencies 
Yeah, because in acute condition it should be there. Very yeah. easy symptoms should be there to identify. <laughs> <coughs> so, sweating is also very typical in many remedies. You can you can observe when you observe the sweating, you can identify the remedy type of sweating. Mm-hmm. You can identify the remedy. <coughs> In phosphorus, phosphorus is also another remedy where you have much sweating. In phosphorus and also arsenicum album, where the sweating is very much smelling, foul smell. In our, in in phosphorus and arsenicum album, it is because the tissues get decomposed very quickly. That is the reason. Uh, it's more acute condition. More acute condition. Mm-hmm. In acute conditions. That is why in those remedies, the sweat is, the sweat when there is sweat in the in the body, in arsenic album or in phosphorus, when you enter into the room, you can feel the sweat, the smell of a dead body. Cadaver. It's called cadaver smell mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because the tissues start decomposing mm-hmm. very quickly. A dangerous condition. Mm. So, if you identify and just administer one dose within a few minutes, then yes, yes. yes we yeah. have we are saved by arsenic also when we have food poisoning. Yes, these fellows they had food poisoning when they are studying. Mm. Most of them. Because mo- the milk which produced by a company, it was poisoned by milk, mm-hmm. um, poisoned. By and many people were affected in that area. Oh, yeah. But we we are the two persons we recalled quickly. Because they have, they have taken homeopathy. Others, they rushed to the hospital and they took... And you could not give... What should I do when there's a food poisoning? <laughs> yeah. huh? No, because I... I, I I think in total I had a twenty times food poisoning. Food poisoning. So uh, and every time it's the same process. It depends how how much I I was eaten mm. between three days and two weeks or three weeks. Still. Mm. So. Uh, what sort of symptoms? But I never I, I I did a special treatment because I didn't know. I only tried to to get my the mental control about this uh, body. So, uh, because uh, the in my, my body reacts with this turning of the head. Uh, so this is very, and they, there are three, there's always the head, the heart and the stomach. Dizziness. Yeah, yeah. yeah dizziness. Yeah. So, this, uh, this uh, minimum two or three days. Once I was three weeks, really flat it. And then I lost nearly Thanks, wait. ten kilos. Yes. For me, this is a lot. Yeah. And because I was below fifty-five. Wow. Mm. So uh, normally I have sixty-three. So this is too much. And it uh, takes long time to to, to get this back. Mm. From what did you get? Don't know. You don't know. Mm-hmm. This happened last time. One no, the heavy one was from a came trip back and from a trip, and uh, I was in, in the Ukraine or was in Belarus. You have any burning inside? And uh, we were sitting together in the evening until ten o'clock. Alice, I was telling her about the journey, and the other morning I was absolutely flatted in Holy. the bed. Mm. Everything was turning. When I was coming out of sleep, it was a catastrophe. Holy. So I, I I was not even uh, able to go to go to the toilet in a vertical position. I had to really to 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 fix every point because everything was moving. Mm-hmm. So it was very strange. And, uh, the ganglion system, the ganglion system is totally disturbed. Mm. This I had also last week in Brazil the same. In mm. Brazil. 
But this is after uh, any diarrhea or something like that? No, there's something in the food. There's a chemical product. How do you know it is the How food? How do you know it's the food? And not something else. Because uh, mostly it is when there is vegetables, we are spread with with a certain chemical product. Oh, okay. And Toxics there, there in the vegetables. And it's mm. always because I eat only vegetables. So, mm. uh, and we, we know in in Brazil there were two possibilities. These were potatoes mm. or this uh, uh, palm, the palm, 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 the palm. Uh, uh, because this only, the, the potatoes, they said palm yes. Palm hearts, yeah, oh, hearts yeah. of palm. Yeah. Yes, the, because this was from canning, the, this palm oh. product. And the potatoes, they say, we have no, uh, we have no potatoes in Brazil, they are not treated with pesticides. Oh. We cannot get it back. They don't know where they should buy potatoes with... Uh, yes, but the problem is you eat potatoes every time we go to Brazil, all the time. Mm. And you ate during this trip also several times potatoes. Yes. But, but there is just one day something yeah. happens and he has these symptoms. Yeah. Oh. And you he thinks it's it the food. Yeah, it could be anything else. We don't know. We have to Sometimes it can be from but I, I, I feel that this from, from tin the food. food. I feel this. Uh, Did you have tin food? It's yes, from a tin. Was. I got intoxicated from tin food. This is can. Mm -hmm. So I uh, also here can. when Alice, yeah. I, 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 I to stop for instance this tomato sauce. Yeah. When she puts the tomato sauce, then uh, then, I, yeah. then I'm uh, poisoned. Yeah. So There's the a lot of food is it's toxic. I have to totally avoid canned yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. I got very ill from it. Would it be uh, carbovage? Mm, it can be. No, it depends on symptoms. So the sweating is also there. But you are not sweating, eh? Mm. Uh, my body throws out ev in everywhere. So uh -huh. there's, sh I, the body is wet, like uh -huh. uh, come uh -huh. out from the shower. I'm uh -huh. warming. I'm because the, the vital China. force, China. the vital force is so strong, tries China? to 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 China. get this out in in any way. Mm. And then vital force is tired, and then the he gets all this vertigo. Yeah. Fever? No, no. Okay. This is only to get this stuff out. Yes, but then so then I am in the bed like in the swimming pool. Yeah, wet. Mm. And then oh, I have to run swimming. to the toilet that yeah. I can warm And yeah. then I have to sit on the toilet because it goes on the other side. Ah, this because is the vital force is, is so strong. Phosphorus. 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 Huh? Mm. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Yeah. Phosphorus. Mm. So, uh, and this is a very uncomfortable situation. But you have to give an email where with all your symptoms at the time. Yes, but, uh, but, you can, uh, you can I'm not please. able to send an email in this condition. Yeah, and that's the Okay, no. Alice is there. But uh, Alice, where is Alice? Or not always with me. So this is very difficult. Well, I, you yes. keep you keep China with you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you. Two hundred or thirty. Two hundred. Two hundred. So first you can take China immediately. When such thing happens. Uh, if you have pain in the stomach also. No, it's no pain. It is a reaction yeah. to, to get rid mm -hmm. of some stuff. It's not pain. Mm -hmm. So it's the head. The head turns, and the heart is pumping like this. Yes, the heart also. And uh, and then the stomach uh, wants to get rid mm -hmm. of this stuff. Then there is sweating. Huh? You are like uh, from coming from the shower, and um, so I understand the reaction of the body because it is. Uh, it's a cleaning process, but it's very powerful. Painful also. <coughs> Not so much pain, because for me the, the pain is if I cannot control my my ganglion system, because the ganglion system, you cannot imagine, it, it turns in a speed, then, uh, and I have really to concentrate to do a step, because also last week when it happened in Brazil, I had to be very careful that I am not running with my head against the door or and something. I didn't tell these people because they would be in a panic. So uh, and uh, so I only told them that uh, there was something in, and uh, so I I controlled my my physical as much as possible and avoided it and try to not to put them into panic because they don't know uh, what to do. So, <coughs> so then. Uh, 
So in that situation, you can take one dose of chena, 200. Ah, okay. I will take it with me then. And keep it, keep it with you, chena. Yeah. And also phosphorus. Naxomica. And naxomica. These things you can keep it with you. Phosphorus 30. Phosphorus 30, generally, yes. So I have, I really have to do this because I have to. know which one he has to take then. You know, but 30 is not so difficult, I think. This is only physically 30 CH. <coughs> and I was really helpless, all, all, especially when I had this heavy breakdown. I really, I, I really didn't know what to do. And, uh, but I only and wanted to control it, it, my whole willpower. I, I used it and I forced this body in the vertical, in the vertical, because I, I wasn't even ab able to stand. So I forced it. First, this has to come in the vertical, and then I forced it, the body that is vertical. It took some time, mm -hmm. and then I tried to walk, but I had to be very careful because the head was turning like this, so that I do not produce an accident. Mm. So to only to go to the toilet. No? Yeah. Mm. So this is a very uncomfortable situation, and uh, so therefore I, I therefore I do any s reception in the UN and so on. I do not eat anything. No, better not. Because I know there there was the reception now from the uh, Korean uh, uh, concert. But I went home because it makes no sense. If I take a, a, any little piece, what comes from the canning or something, then the other day I'm I have the double once again. Yeah. So, uh, so I have also to tell the people when I when I do with 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 the group work around the globe everywhere. I have to tell the people only fresh food and only organic food because yeah. if they cannot provide this, I will I will not eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is. Uh, yeah, canned food can be very toxic for us and also for the animals because we give the animals canned food, okay. and it's also toxic for them. Mm -hmm. this so toxic for us. So and therefore, the in in Brazil, they told me yes, uh, we know every every person in in the Americas uh, eats a year five liters of of agro poison. Yeah. Uh -huh. so they know how many they spray and mm -hmm. so on, so how many populations they have. So they know. So th the cleaning process is through the, uh, the health, the bodies of the human beings. Yeah, next one can answer 200. So this, um, I'm really alarmed that it happened now also in Brazil, because I have a certain trust to these products, and the food, but now I'm very careful also in this country. I experience this in so many countries. So it's everywhere the same because they use certain chemical products, and my for my body is this poisoning. And uh, other people do not do not react anyway, but my body reacts very strong and very powerful. Wow, so it's so, so difficult to control them. <coughs> And then the, 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 the worst thing for me is then absolutely no, uh, no tendency to eat, mm. Absol absence of any appetite, because um, until this cleaning process is more or less finished, and then uh, I lose also weight. So, so this is, uh, this is uh, a very... And, uh, from time to time, I'm a little bit angry also. Not for, for me, but I'm angry for these producers mm -hmm. who are, have no responsibility mm -hmm. for, their, for their people around them and they sell, we, we buy this stuff. People know. and the animals because they kill yes, everything. The animals is the same. So uh, it, is a, it is criminal. It is against human rights because there's a human right to health. So this. When we would know what it is, we could find a lawyer and bring it to the to the uh, court. And then this factory who produces these products, they, they should be uh, uh, confiscated. They should be taken into. into yeah, that they have to answer the questions. 
so there, I think there's no other way. Because I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who, who reacts like this way, the body like this. So but there are like maybe hundreds and thousands, perhaps, I don't know. <coughs> and then another feature, what you find in sulfur is in, this, in the woman who have the sulfur constitution, <coughs> there will be always inconsistent changes in the menstrual cycle. Uh -huh. <coughs> so sometimes she may get once in twenty days, sometimes one and a half months, sometimes two months, like that, changing, keeps changing the cycle. Mm. You're regular. You're regular. Mm. Also, the associated sufferings like that pain in the belly and pain in the back, along mm. with this, mm. very frequently. Mm. Then there is also another type of sufferings, <coughs> like, uh, <coughs> generally which are having no solution in the allopathic medicine. For example, uh, uh, there is suffering like the allergic sinusitis and allergic problems mm -hmm. frequently. In sulfur also you find that very often they get very many sneezings and then problem in the sinus problems. And in allopathy there is no treatment for this, they, they only they make puncturing. Mm. They say that we puncture to clean the sinus but that is not a solution. Again, it comes the same. Very chronic in many persons. Mm. Is this like hay fever? Like hay fevers and also constantly all this sinus is full of mm. phlegm and then mm. gets mm. sneezing and slime coming out always. Mm. So such problems. When the eyes are watering, is that also from sinus? Yes, one of the disturbances. Yeah, also sinus. And it's blocked. And then, because there are internal mm. uh, channels, yeah, yeah. if the channels are blocked, then the water pours yes. out. And this, the channel goes to inside yeah. of the nose. Yes. Yeah. So these, in these conditions, we have remedies. Sulfur is one of the remedies. Dalkamara is another remedy in these conditions. And Thuya also is another remedy. And Lekhesis is another remedy. Mm -hmm. And Medorinum is another remedy. And also Psorinum. These are all the remedies which are indicated depending upon the symptoms other symptoms. For the allergies? For this type of allergies. Nasal allergies with sinusitis, severe sinusitis and nasal allergies. It's chronic. Also chiburculinum. Another remedy is chiburculinum. <coughs> because in, sometimes it is very obstinate. So, when the indicated remedies fail to act, then also you need sulfur. Mm. Sometimes directly sulfur is indicated. Sometimes the other remedies like uh, Dalkamara, for example, it is indicated, you are given, but it, it could not react, it is failed. Then you need a dose of sulfur, then it starts acting. Mm. In that dimension also sulfur is used in these conditions. The nasal allergy. Because many people 
in many countries we have these problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, in allopathy they keep on giving uh, all sorts of medicines, antihistamines and mm -hmm. 